Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to look at the most popular handguns of the Old West. Keep in mind, this is an overview of each firearm. I'm not going into details about the different variations and iterations. A lot of these guns did evolve from first issue to include additional models and were available in different calibers, barrel lengths, etc. Also, many lawmen and outlaws, particularly the more famous ones, have multiple sidearms attributed to them, which can cause confusion. It becomes even more confusing when discussing the particular pistols used during specific events, such as robberies or shootouts. Gunmen sometimes did switch between models and manufacturers, even sometimes carrying multiple different handguns. You'll notice this throughout the video. Finally, I wanted to title this video Top Revolvers of the West, but there's one legendary handgun I discuss at the end that prevented it. However, this gun absolutely needed to be included. Let's dive in and take a look at the top handguns of the West. The Navy pistol was designed by Samuel Colt between 1847 and 1850 and remained in production until 1873. This wasn't the first revolver produced by Colt, but this was Colt's first major success in the gun trade. Colt first referred to this revolver as the Ranger size model and then revolving belt, but the designation Navy quickly took over. The six round, 36 caliber Navy revolver was much lighter than the contemporary Colt Dragoon revolvers developed from the 44 Walker Colt revolvers of 1847, which were generally carried in saddle holsters. The Navy revolver was suitably sized for carrying in a belt holster, which contributed to its popularity in military and civilian use. Though carried by a number of outlaws, the Navy revolver seemed more popular with lawmen and their cohorts. Notable users included Wild Bill Hickok, Doc Holliday, and most of the Texas Rangers prior to the Civil War. While extremely popular, with its use continuing long after more modern cartridge revolvers were introduced, the Navy revolver from Colt was the predecessor to one of the most famous handguns ever produced. Let's take a look at that one now. No other handgun symbolizes the Old West quite like Colt's single action army, sometimes referred to as the Colt 45, Equalizer, or Hogleg. Of course, you probably know this piece of Americana as the Peacemaker. It was designed by Colt in 1872 for the U.S. government service revolver trials of 1872 and was adopted as the standard issue pistol of the U.S. Army in 1873 until 1892. A popular variation with outlaws and lawmen alike was introduced in 1878. Known as the Colt Frontier Six Shooter, it used the 4440 Winchester cartridge, which was both a rifle and a handgun caliber. This made the Colt Frontier Six Shooter revolver and the Winchester Model 1873 rifle a common combination in the Old West. In fact, it's reported that the two mounted cowboys at the gunfight at the OK Corral were armed with this rifle and pistol combination. Speaking of that famed gunfight, the Peacemaker was the preferred sidearm of Wyatt Earp himself, though he may not have used it at the OK Corral, along with the Texas and Arizona Rangers. It was also carried by sometime lawman and sometime outlaw John Selman, as well as one of his victims, gunman John Wesley Hardin. Furthermore, Colt's iconic handgun was carried by the outlaw Dalton brothers during a number of their exploits. The Colt Single Action Army was, and still is, the six shooter of the Wild West. Of course, Colt wasn't the only gunmaker of the time. Now, let's take a look at an iconic sidearm from another manufacturer. The Model 3 was originally manufactured by Smith & Wesson from around 1870 to 1915. The Model 3 was initially chambered for the 44 caliber S&W American and 44 caliber Russian cartridges. Between 1871 and 1873, the 44 caliber Model 3 was used as the standard United States Army sidearm. The Model 3 design most closely associated with the Old West is the 45 Schofield. It was reportedly used by outlaws Jesse James, Bob Ford, who used one to kill James, Billy the Kid, and John Wesley Hardin. Lawman Pat Garrett, Virgil Earp, and Wyatt Earp carried the Schofield as well. It's a popular belief that Wyatt Earp used his Model 3 at the gunfight at the OK Corral. 
The Model 3's identical-looking 44 caliber Russian variation may have been what was used by Hardin and Garrett, along with a number of other gunmen. Reconditioned and modified Schofield revolvers were used by Wells Fargo road agents towards the end of the 19th century. The Smith & Wesson Model 3 and the Colt Peacemaker gained notoriety as centerpieces of the culture of the American West. There were others, though, as you will see. The Colt Model 1848 Percussion Army Revolver is a 44 caliber revolver designed by Samuel Colt for the U.S. Army's Regiment of Mounted Rifles. The revolver was produced with several variations between 1847 and 1860. The Colt Dragoon became popular among civilians during the 1850s and 1860s and was also used during the American Civil War. The revolver's most notable user was Joaquin Morietta, also known as the Robin Hood of the West. It was also popular in literature, being featured in the book True Grit, as well as the novel Lonesome Dove. In 1875, Remington entered the cartridge revolver market with the Remington Model 1875 Single Action Army, a big frame, Army-style revolver intended to compete with the Colt Peacemaker. The Model 1875 was never officially accepted by the U.S. government for military use, so it never garnered the same success as revolvers from Colt and Smith & Wesson. The Remington was still a solid firearm and was carried by gunman Frank Loving. Most notably, it was the firearm of choice for outlaw Frank James, older brother of Jesse James and member of the James Younger Gang. So far, we've looked at only revolvers. These firearms are iconic and deserve their place in Western history and lore. But there's one pistol that may have had the most impact on the history of the Wild West, and it became woven into the fabric of truth and legend. The original Philadelphia Derringer was a muzzle-loading cap-lock single-shot pistol introduced in 1825 by Henry Derringer. All were single-barrel pistols with back-action percussion locks, typically 41 caliber. John Wilkes Booth used a Derringer in his assassination of Abraham Lincoln. This single shot unleashed an unfriendly federal policy on the southern states, which added to the frustration of devastated ex-Confederates and caused great numbers of Southerners to head west in search of a new life. Among these travelers were outlaws that would become famous over time. Many gun manufacturers, such as Colt and Remington, produced their own version of the Derringer. Thousands of them were packed in the gold camps of California or concealed on the persons of riverboat gamblers and prostitutes, as well as average citizens. Available in a variety of sizes, from palm size to larger belt pistols, it was the smallest model that helped coin the generic term Derringer with two R's, meaning a small hideout pistol. So there you have it. Did you have a favorite? Is one missing? While there were other handguns throughout the West during the 19th century, the ones discussed have become synonymous with the Wild West through fact, fiction, and legend. All right, take care.